shooters and shooting games on consoles weren't held in high favor back when the genre was first beginning its spread, but that changed thanks to everyone's favorite British secret agent. GoldenEye 007, a 1997 rare game for the Nintendo 64. You know, for a rare game, it's actually pretty common. Based on the James Bond movie from 1995, this follows its basic plot. His 007 has to stop the Russian crime syndicate Janus from using the nuclear weapon satellite known as Goldeneye to control the world. Each stage is a mission given to you by MI6, with certain objectives depending on the difficulty you choose. Most stages ultimately you're just getting from point A to point B, but you'll have to do various things along the way such as finding certain people, destroying certain targets, retrieving certain information, or escorting Natalia. James is given a specific set of weapons and gadgets for each mission, and he can pick up the weapons and ammo of enemies he's taken out. James must also be stealthy, since enemies nearby will be easily alerted if he uses a non-silenced weapon. Thankfully, he does have a karate chop at his disposal for a melee attack. And of course, security cameras and alarm buttons must be destroyed, so that enemies won't be alerted to James's position. You can't see me. My time is now. Not only is GoldenEye an exciting action adventure, but also a fun multiplayer extravaganza. Up to four people can duke it out in death matches with various scenarios, levels, weapons, and characters to choose from. In fact, a few characters from other 007 movies are available as guest characters. Don't forget, if you pick Odd Job, you're a noob. I think FPSs are like, they're kind of for like noobs, you know? There's plenty to talk about in regards to GoldenEye. It's excellent music, it's attention to detail, it's demonstration of how to properly adapt a movie for a video game, and so on. But there's something particular about it that's worth mentioning. If anything in the game gets destroyed, it will explode. Destroy a table, it explodes. Destroy an alarm button, it explodes. Destroy a security camera, it explodes. Destroy some boxes, they explode. Destroy some crates, they explode. Destroy a window, oh wait, it, it just shattered. Destroy some oil barrels, they explode. An oil barrel exploded? Don't be silly now. I should mention that the game does suffer from low frame rates and slowdown, with the large amounts of enemies and visual effects being processed by the Nintendo 64, which does date the game quite a bit. Rare did port the game to the Xbox 360 in the late 2000s with a much smoother frame rate and sharper graphics, but they never officially released the port due to licensing troubles with Nintendo, Microsoft, and Eon Productions. The revolutionary design of the game itself is at least worth giving it a shot, and it justifies the loads of praise and success that it's had over the years. In fact, GoldenEye's legacy will be carried on in the 2000s by Perfect Dark and the Time Splitters trilogy. Plus, fans have made emulators that make GoldenEye run at 60 frames per second, including one that allows you to play with a keyboard and a mouse, unlocking its true potential. And of course, more popular FPS games on consoles would come in its wake, probably the biggest being Bungie's Halo on the Xbox. GoldenEye undeniably earned its spot in the history of gaming and is a must-have game for the Nintendo 64. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, I am invincible! Ow. What was that for? What? You never saw the movie?